Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Did you just do a factory reset on your iPhone and then realized you need the data from it? Don't worry. Getting your data back, whether you have a backup or not, is easier than you think. In this video, I will show you two different ways you can restore your iPhone data. Let's go. After you reset your iPhone to factory defaults, setting it up again is actually pretty simple. Just wait for your device to restart. When your iPhone reboots and you see the Hello screen, swipe up and select the default language you want to set for your device. Next, choose your country of origin from the available list. If you have your current iPhone or iPad, you can use the Quick Start feature to automatically transfer data to the iPhone you're setting up. But if you don't have one, click Set Up Manually and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. Connect to an available Wi-Fi network nearby so you can easily restore your device over the internet later, especially if you have an existing backup on your iCloud account. Then wait a few minutes while Apple activates your iPhone and follow any on-screen prompts. Setting up your Face ID is optional at this point. You can always set it up later in your settings. On the other hand, creating a new device passcode is mandatory so enter your new passcode and re-enter it to confirm. On the next screen, choose how you want to transfer data to your iPhone. You can restore it from your iCloud backup, restore from your Mac or PC if you have a copy from the Finder or iTunes, transfer directly from another iPhone, or move data from an Android device. If you are setting up your iPhone for the first time and don't have an iCloud account, select Don't Transfer Apps and Data instead. In my case, I already have an Apple ID and an existing iCloud backup, so I'll go with the first option. Of course, you are free to choose whichever option is most convenient for you and simply follow the on-screen instructions. Enter your Apple ID credentials and provide the two-factor authentication code sent to your trusted device or mobile number to verify the access. Once verified, select the backup version you'd like to restore to and click Continue to confirm. Next, set up your Apple Pay, or you can skip this step. You can also configure it later in settings. After that, simply wait while your iPhone restores from your iCloud backup. Please note that this may take a while, depending on your internet connection and how much data is being restored. When your iPhone reboots, unlock the screen and enter the new passcode you created earlier to access your device. The first method should usually work for everyone, but the downside is that you can't really choose which data you want to restore. It's an all or nothing process. If you'd rather select specific data to restore, such as just your photos, notes, or messages, either from your iPhone itself or from an existing backup, here's another option for you. Before you start though, I want you to know that you'll be using a special software tool for the recovery process. While a premium subscription is needed for full recovery, a free trial is available for you to see if your data can be recovered. Moreover, if you use my link below, you'll get the best discount you can currently find online for this tool. Okay, now let's begin with the recovery process. Launch the tool on your computer and choose from three recovery modes designed for different scenarios. If you've accidentally deleted data from your iPhone without a backup, the Recover Data from iOS Devices mode is the best choice. This tool can recover lost files, even those deleted a long time ago. After running this mode, connect your iPhone to your computer using the original or an MFI certified cable. Be sure to leave your iPhone unlocked and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the trust process when prompted. Once the software detects your device, select the file type you want to recover and click Scan to initiate the process. Depending on the file size, it may take some time for the software to scan your device. When the scan is complete, all recovered data both existing and deleted, will be displayed. You can choose to view all files or filter to show only deleted ones. Click on any recovered file to preview its contents and make sure it's the data you need. When you're done selecting the necessary files, click 
recover to save them to your computer, and view them externally for a closer look once they've downloaded. Meanwhile, the recover data from iCloud method is applicable if the lost data was previously synced and backed up to your iCloud account. Unlike the previous method, you don't need to physically connect your device. Simply sign in to your iCloud account using your Apple ID credentials and provide the six-digit authentication code. Once verified, select the data type you want to recover and start the scan. The software will automatically detect and display data from your existing iCloud backup. Note that the download time will vary depending on the size of your backup, so please be patient during this process. After the scan, you'll see a dashboard where you can filter files, preview their contents, and save a copy to your computer. Finally, the third recovery method, Recover from iTunes Backup. This makes it easy to access your iTunes backup without having to perform a full device restore. The software automatically displays all available iTunes backup files on your computer. If your backup file is not in the default location, you can manually add it using the Import Now option. Then differentiate the backups by device name, date, model, or size. Select the backup point that is likely to contain the data you need and click Next to continue. In the next window, select the type of file you want to recover and wait for the program to scan your iTunes backup for it. When the results are available, you can filter all data to include both existing and deleted items. Just review and select the files you need and save them to your device. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.